Hello church, so my name is Kylie. Um, I have two kids, Silas is holding the mic over here and um, Abigail is almost three, Silas, is, or she is three, sorry sissy, and um, Silas is five. I still feel like I'm totally at the beginning stages. No, I'm not five. You're almost five, right? He's almost five. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm just at the beginning stages of my motherhood journey. I feel like I have so much to learn still. I think like a lot of moms, um, the biggest thing with becoming a mother is just realizing how sinful we are <laughs> and how selfish we are and how much we need God. So I feel like that's really what he's been showing me is how much I need him. He has mothered me through motherhood by um, I think just comforting me when I need it and giving me wisdom and speaking truth to me when I need it. Also I'm a nurse I work at uh, Three Rivers a couple days a week just part-time so that adds different challenges to mothering some good because I get a couple days away sometimes <laughs> and then sometimes just makes you know life more challenging adding more things into it. Some of the verses that have been encouraging me lately kind of speak to um, my anger that I feel sometimes. So I'll just share some of those with you. I'm really bad at memorizing scripture. Hopefully in 20 years, you guys will interview me and I'll say that I'm really great at memorizing scripture. So to be continued, but for now I have them written down. Um, Ephesians 6, 4, fathers and mothers do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Um, another one is Proverbs 15, 1, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. And then James 1.19, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Half the time when I try to quote that verse, I say everyone should be quick to speak. So that pretty much tells you my challenge. <laughs> um, but the biggest things for me in this season are community um, and having wisdom from other moms in the same stage of life and moms that have gone before me and so um, I would just encourage all mothers that you're not alone anything you're going through there's someone right now going through the same thing anything your kids are doing there's other kids doing that same thing and um, just seek the Lord ask him for wisdom and encouragement daily that's um, what I'm working on right now is just praying through the little things all day just that the Lord would um, give me wisdom and how to discipline and how to love these little ones right so